Hello everybody, welcome to Programming with Ruby, episode 8, Hashes. I'm Tyler, and this is, video is brought to you by manwithcode.com. So, covered in this episode, what are hashes, how you create hashes, how you access them, and how you iterate over them, and also I'll be showing you some useful methods that hashes have. So, what exactly are hashes? Hashes are like arrays, which you learned about in the previous episode, except... They have no order, like arrays do the beautiful 0, 1, 2, 3 order. No, none of that. Instead, they're being ac they are accessed with a key, which returns a value, and and that or sorry, that key points to a value, which is the actual data inside the hash. Now, arrays are used for lists of data. Hashes are used to relate data. So if I had a hash where the keys were my friends' names and the values were their birthdays, that would work. That would work out pretty well. So, let me show you some example code. So, open up Interactive Ruby. Now, to create a hash, use the squiggly brackets. So, let's see. Yeah, let's name it something more descriptive. My hash. What's that? Left squiggly bracket. Squiggly squiggly bracket starts it. Right squiggly bracket. Squiggly bracket ends it. So, and let's show you one with something in it. So, using the birthdays example, we will have. Amy, whose birthday is in May, and we'll have Dakota, whose birthday is in January. All right, and as you can tell, each one is each pair is separated by a comma, and um, this symbol right here, the equal sign and the greater than sign, is used to relate the two. This is the key, and this is the value. All right. Now, how do you access them? You've created them. Now you must need to access it. So, wow, I did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry. So you do birthdays and the left bracket with the key and hit enter. And there we go. We get the value. And you can also define new key value pairs in the, um, wow. In the array, in, a, in the hash, in a similar way, this is Zach's birthday being April. Now, now you may want to iterate over these hashes. So, and like arrays, hashes have an each method. So, birthdays dot each do pair, and that pair is the key value pair, and it's an array with both of them in it. So, we do put this key plus zero and put us value plus pair one and and we get the key is Amy the value is May May the key is Dakota the value is January the key is Zach the value is April all right now they also have um an each pair and birthdays Sorry, they have an each key and an each value method. And you can probably guess what those do. And so I'm not going to show them to you. Just keep this video a little shorter. Now, the delete deletes a specified key value pair. So birthdays.delete. Um, and we're going to delete... I don't know if that worked. Let me check. No, that did not work. So sorry. I have to do that again. Okay, so you have to use the key to delete it. Empty will tell you true or false if it's empty. In this case, it should return false, and it does. And this empty array should return true, and it does. Keys returns the keys, so birthdays.keys, and we get Dakota and Zach and birthdays that values and we get January and April and size tell, tells us how many key value pairs there are and in this case it's two now I didn't actually this video didn't last all that long so this is it for today's episode please do not refrain from donating or I will refrain from making videos and if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on this page or email me at tyler at manwithcode.com. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.